What is this? Crazy road. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, that's really true that you are, in fact, uh, more like a calm person in this car. You cannot hear anything like here now. Traffic and now nothing. I can hear only the, the AC. So this feels quite similar, like in 53. AMG, but it's like creamy sportiness, I would say. And let's see how this car change lanes. Can you see? It's so agile, it's crazy. Yeah, now let's head to the city to try how this car behaves in the city. Active steering assist. The car is steering automatically behind this truck. It will tell me soon to hold the steering wheel here, okay? If I hold it, it will give me another like 20 seconds. So as you can see, this is a level 2 autonomy driving. A level 3 will be available in Germany this year. It will have this uh, chrome part like here on the steering wheel, which will push and then it will go without you holding the steering wheel. Now you need to have uh, your hand placed on the steering wheel so uh, that's the conditions when the system can be um, active all right so we have some city streets here the rear active steering is really good I have to say it helps a, ro a lot with maneuvering and you really can feel that this is a quieter car especially when you are not uh, listening to any radio with radio the difference is smaller and that's that's true but if you want to drive without the radio or yeah if this this is your preference talking to someone or yeah stuff like that and definitely if you want uh, just that maximum level of silentness then definitely petrol engine will be more silent but it's not a big difference the best Advice would be to test drive both and see for yourself because uh, yeah, the diesel is more economical. All right, so now the task is to see how this car behaves in the in the city center, how it starts to drive, how it picks up speed, how it stops, if it holds the brake itself and yeah that's basically what I want to find out So we have many variables here, sometimes it's um, better to have it on, on manual drive. So now I, uh, because here you have very short distances between the each like stops. And in, the, in that case, the Distronic is not the best um, idea to use the Distronic. It's better to use just your feet, your feet, your manual input uh, with the throttle and brake. But on the motorway, it's really a, a great function to have it. So here we have a, a like a, you can see the tram. We have many 
rails here and the road is not not the best uh, I, I often drive here with my A-class so I'm pretty familiar with this uh, road and I can tell you that uh, this is much better than anything what I drove uh, before so basically uh, the turning is not really a problem I filmed the full um, parking video also with the class uh, also with the so I filmed also full um, video of uh, of the parking with the um, S class so you can check that out so really amazing how this car can handle city streets as I said the rear axle the rear active uh, axle steering is really <laughs> really is really good yeah I don't really see a problem to drive this uh, in the city even parking thanks to the rear active steering is is very easy I would say you need to be cautious of uh, obviously because it's a it's a really long car and wide but other than that with the cameras with 360 cameras is not a not a big deal so let's go here We have also traffic light view so you can see the traffic lights on the display and these lanes are quite narrow I would say so we can try uh, how it works here the sound is just the ways rerouting me as you can see for a different route to that uh, a lot to that tall building so but I want to just have a feel I'm just driving around the uh, how is it called the drainage I think where the water is drained because it's not flush with the road so that's not good for the wheels but uh, sometimes you hit it and also with these uh, 20 inch wheels is not that big of a of a deal with 22 i would say it could be you could damage the the wheel but here with 20 it's it's more or less okay okay so now i set the we can we can try 40 because here is a yeah it's quite narrow street so we can try 40 kilometers per hour and how the car will will move we have it on three so let's put it on four okay so we have four hopefully it will be fine so far it's keeping nice distance it's not going to stop on the pedestrian uh, nothing like that it, it's not uh, fully autonomous driving so you need to pay uh, uh, attention to basically everything the best system right now uh, the best use case scenario for this system is obviously the freeway highway you can see the castle here and also the parliament also the this turn you can change depending on the speed I will just increase to 50 although it's quite let's keep it at 40 45 So now the car was doing the, the job itself automatically. Now I will continue with, with the manual. I 
Okay, so I think we can turn here. Residential area. We have also the speed bumps. So let's test that. Hmm, pretty nice. Oh, I'm not going there, that's crazy. Some roads are too narrow for this car, I'm not gonna lie. But most of the roads are fine uh, in the city. I mean, I, uh, I drove once in so narrow street I didn't film it because I already like finished filming and I was driving. It was so narrow that I, I was really scared, but it was it was done and no issue in the end. So as you can see here, not the best road, but still it's pretty fine. Okay, so we have some potholes. Oh, this is really ch challenging, but should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, I never drove here, so... Let him go because he was nervous. Behind me doing this. Last thing I need is uh, to have a nervous bike driver behind me. Wow, I never drove here actually. So S-Class discovering new possibilities, new ways. Okay, so where should we go? What is this? Crazy road with potholes, but not too deep. That's good. <laughs> Some constructions. Wow. <laughs> I didn't really want, I never thought that this is a, like a normal road. But apparently it is. So. I'm happy that I have a 20 inch wheels, but behind me is also S Class, the W221, so the older gen. Okay, so. We survive it. We're really pleased with this uh, extensive test, we can say. Okay, very, very nice. Um, you are, I have to say, you are like a calm driver in this car. So yeah, that's really true that you are, in fact, uh, more like a calm person in this car. And sometimes this is very good because uh, it's good to be calm, you know, have less stress especially when uh, when there is a lot of traffic you cannot hear anything like here now traffic and now nothing i can hear only the, the ac also if you press the brake pedal firmer then you have the hold function you can try the exclusive now so right now we have 11.5, we can also try the sport mode because the engine is right in. 11.5, that was me, with me idling when I was uh, filming stationary, so... So this feels quite similar to the 53 AMG because this is a similar powertrain, uh, like in 53 AMG, but this is tuned uh, in a more as a, as a comfort comfort vehicle but let's try here you are picking up speed very very fast that's really good the response of the engine is also but it's like creamy sportiness I would say it's it's really um, you can feel that this is a sport plus mode but it's not very very aggressive very smooth sporty driving we can say blind spot monitor and let's see how this car change lanes can you see it's <laughs> so agile it's crazy 
now in sport plus mode just yeah just wanted to try that but it's still a very smooth sport plus mode also i'm really curious uh, about the v8 version the 580 that will be even more sporty even more beefier 